Hey guys, it's Colby. I'm here with the final J20. It looks pretty sharp. I wanted to give you guys a short little preview of the prototype. Stick around for the final maiden flight in the build video. Thanks. video just showed us finishing up this last piece right here. Um, Colby got excited and went ahead and we ended up building the rest of it and didn't quite show. That's It's not too bad. It's, it's they're actually pretty easy these next couple steps. So um, so Colby did the other side and he, he got that body part done um, and then uh, so that secured both these main wings here. And then it was time to put on the main stabilizers, and I did the right one to show him how to do it, and then Colby went ahead to the left side. And guys, there's really, there's not a really uh, particular angle. I will measure it though, and I, we will put them in our plans um, for the angle of the stabilizers, because they are not straight up and down, they're not just you know, vertical. They do have some sort of an angle on them. Okay, and then after we did the stabilizers, we did the bottom, right? Yep. The bottom stabilizers. Okay, the bottom stabilizers, um, all we did was, is we just glued them to where they finished up, right where the main wing is. And I'll flip them over. You can probably see it from there too, Harrison. And uh, to get that angle that we had, we just glued it on there, and then we just laid it down. And so when it sat down, it gave us these these angles that we wanted so that when we land we don't rip them off. Yeah. 
act as a big old drag plate when we hit the ground. Um, and then, Colby, what, uh, you went ahead and did the circles next. Tell us how you did those. Uh, it was pretty easy. We had to make sure that we cleared the bottom stabilizer so it wouldn't come up and hit. So if that was over there, then it'd only be up to about there at its fullest. And that wouldn't provide really any lift. So we just put them about right outside the bottom stabilizer. See here how it's, it's not too far inside, but it's not clear out here either. It's just about perfect. Cool. Um, that was pretty much it. Pretty easy. Yeah, not, that part wasn't too bad. And then we just went ahead and uh, you just cut this bad boy out and put it all in there. We do a little popsicle uh, uh, method. And we do like a little double-sided tape where it gives like a little cavity in there. And then we just put, you know, magnets on the end. And then we just slide the, the popsicle stick inside first and then just throw it down in the back. It ends up, you know, completing it pretty well. But... Um, this is his build. This is this is your plane, man. Tell yeah. us what do you think of this whole thing? Um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's exactly how I imagined it last year when we started first coming up with the concept and starting the process of designing it and prototyping it and now the end product is just awesome. It's pretty sweet. It, this is this is really cool, and this is going to be free because you designed it. Yeah. This will be free to everybody, and we're almost done with the plans. Yeah. We're just working on the cover pages of it, making sure that every detail. We're we're changing up our plans a little bit, um, just to give a little bit more information to you guys about us and about the plane, a um, little history behind the design and stuff. Because this this is taking them quite a while. I mean, you yeah. built the plane, you figured out all the the mismeasurements, and then we went back and fixed it and built it again, yeah. flew it. Prototyped it, crashed, crashed it. it. <laughs> now we have this bad boy. Um, but you know, that's what it takes to get a product that looks like this. Yeah. You know, and you learned that. So um, you did a good job, Colby. And I'm sure there's going to be thousands of people out there that are going to down download this plane and make this thing fly all over the world. So yeah. you definitely made your mark um, in the hobby and in Mesa. So congratulations. Black